MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. The Pro X 500 from 3D Solutions, it's a very popular machine. Why is it so popular? Well, the Pro X 500 is a selective laser sintering printer, SLS, which basically uses powder to produce production grade, tough, and used parts in volume. Uh, this particular printer is capable of producing parts with unrivaled surface finish, dimensional accuracy, and repeatability. So if I'm looking to produce components, it sounds an obvious question, but why would that be a big advantage? Uh, basically, you can do bespoke products. Um, so if you were to manufacture 10 different iterations in designs, uh, you can produce them all in one go on here and then select the, the particular component that performs the best. Going on from that, you can then use it as a production tool to pr produce these literally 24 hours a day. OK, and can we have some examples? Who is currently using this technology? Uh, automotive and aerospace, uh, right through to uh, fashion designers use this kind of technology. Uh, I mean, it's particularly good in things like Formula One, uh, where you need bespoke products literally tomorrow uh, and in volume. OK, there's only so many Formula One teams. You mentioned automotive before. What type of product? Quite obviously, we're not going to 3D print a vehicle in, in this particular 500 series, but what would they use it for? Uh, any kind of electrical housing, air intakes, manifolds, right through to dash trims, speaker covers. That, the, the list is literally endless. And what happens with the waste material during this process? Uh, there typically isn't really any waste material. What we do with the process, selective laser sintering lays down a powder layer. Uh, we've got a painted unique counter-rotational roller. Uh, we're going in about 0.1 of a mil uh, and then using a laser to, to trace the outline over. Um, basically, there is no support structure in SLS. It is used, basically it's, it's formed in the powder that it's produced from. That is then recycled uh, and then reused. So the, the fuller you pack this machine, uh, the, the lower the cost per part. The control of the ProX500 is very simple. We basically have a touchscreen interface here, uh, which is obviously used with a keyboard. The software is very simple to use, very minimal training. You just fold your parts into the build chamber, um, it'll orientate them for you. It produces reports in terms of build times, uh, but obviously you can go as far as you want with this technology. You can amend the parameters to, to tailor it to specific needs. I've had the pleasure of meeting the guy in the US who designed this machine. He's worked for 3D Systems for 20 years. And I can tell you every panel on this machine uh, is designed with the operator in mind. You can get in there and do anything you need to with ease, uh, with minimal effort. You mentioned an operator. He's got very little to do, has he? He's got to put, input the data and press the button. Pretty much, it'll take me about 10 minutes to get this thing set up and running. If someone comes along with another part later on, once I've started on, i started the build, I can fold that in on top. Uh, and basically it's unoperated until we have to remove the parts. And I can see it's a very small ergonomic build. Where would we put the material? The material is managed by an MQC, a material quality center, uh, which recycles and uh, blends the material, shuttles it on demand. We can see that uh, next door. Right, so this is the MQC, or Material Quality Centre, which is used to blend, recycle uh, and shuttle the powder over on demand to uh, not one but two of these machines this MQC is capable of supporting. What we do is we take our powder, has an RFID tag on the top, we scan that, which will release uh, an interlock in here. Uh, it will prevent a user from entering the incorrect powder or, 
or mixing things. Basically from there it will then blend it with the recycled powder which we've gained from our previous builds um, and using compressed air shuttle it over to the machine. Regarding the uh, actual breakout process which is done over this half, we've got extraction all the way around the perimeter which is creating a downdraft. Um, as you can see here this is basically a part cake uh, which has been taken from the machine this morning. This is used to transport it safely uh, at temperatures and we have a nitrogen bath which is a control cool down. Uh, once we get down to a temperature which it's safe to handle at, which we use, use a temperature probe to check, uh, we break our parts out. Uh, that powder which is left over from the, around the components is then placed down into the sieve and the whole process is repeated. And in 3D printing, the applications are endless. What are these components we can see on the table? Uh, there's a small variety of components here, uh, ranging from a stool. Uh, this is a, a good idea of the kind of component size we can get off the ProX 500. Uh, here we've got a, a manifold. This is produced in a glass a fibre material, which is increased uh, stiffness and rigidity. Um, and basically right through to smaller parts like a, a, an air outlet on a car dashboard there. Okay, Dan, how about service and support from HK? Well, HK3D, we're a production partner with 3D Systems, and basically we will take these products, such as SLS, and integrate them into your current production workflow, maximising their potential, making sure you get the best out of the machines. Literally from application support, helping you potentially redesign components for the process, through to our full service team of engineers who can maintain and ensure uptime. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.